There are many reasons the Bulldog Extreme 4x4 Firetruck has become the most sought after firetruck on the market today. With features such as 54 inch military grade tires, a lifted transfer case, and 24 inches of ground clearance, the Bulldog is able to traverse the toughest of terrain while carrying an incredible 2,000 gallons of water and foam. Bulldogs are quickly becoming known for their versatility and proficiency, fitting into all firefighting roles. Equipped with two inch chassis cage, bumper nozzles, bumper sprayers, off-road poly tanks, high intensity lighting, high volume, high pressure divorce pumps, and extreme rated axles, Bulldog redefines the standards of full-size all-terrain fire trucks. With the means to combat and conquer anything from brush fires to hazmat highway accidents, For the same price as your typical on-road 2,000 gallon first responder, your fire department could have a truck that does so much more.
One of the technologies that we'll be uh, experimenting with this year is the ultra heavy amphibious connector or UHAC as we call it. We have a half scale uh, version of the vehicle. It's tracked with uh, flotation like pads, paddles itself through the water. With that vehicle, uh, what's unique about it is its ability to traverse terrain that some of our current equipment that's uh, with our amphibious forces wouldn't normally be able to traverse. So the UHAC is one of those experimental technologies that we're looking at uh, as, a, as a possible concept capability uh, to look at how we could take our forces in the future and be able to insert them in areas that we wouldn't be able to insert them today based on our current systems that are fielded. I'm Greg Sankoff, I'm the President and CEO of Juliet Marine Systems. I am the uh, creator of the Ghost Boat. We came up with uh, the name Ghost because the boat is intended to have no radar signature at all. The biggest challenge of the U.S. Navy today is how do you get in and operate in denied access areas? Well, today we can't do it. And that's what ghosts can do. Ghosts can go into those areas, loiter for 30 days on fuel on board, and leave without anybody knowing you're over there. Our philosophy has been that we will put up the risk money for R&D, because that allows us more flexibility in uses for the product later on. You just can't wait for the government to say we want this. You need to be developing products like this and bringing them to the government and saying, look what we have, are you interested in this program? That's where we are right now. This looks this way purely to reflect radar, but it ends up looking cool. Everybody that sees it thinks it looks like it's out of Star Wars or Star Trek or one of those shows, but it's really all functional. Every angle is very, very functional. It's very easy to drive. You have a set of gas turbine throttles for those jet engines, and you have a steering joystick, and that's all you have to do with this boat, is push on the throttles and move the joystick. When you command the boat to turn, the computers know exactly what they should be doing to turn the boat. A super cavitating underwater structure means that you have surrounded the entire underwater structure in gas. We can get about six or seven feet of clearance between the bottom of the command module and the top of the wave. So we can actually cut through waves without feeling them. Now we're primarily focused today on the defense segments, internationally and domestically. But this whole forms a great opportunity for sport fishing boats, for jet skis, for high speed boats. This technology can be employed in all those different product lines. 